Hey, hey everybody. Uh, so today we're gonna go through a quick practice question. So essentially what we wanna do is show that the following statements about a real number X are equivalent. If X is rational, X over two is rational and three X minus one is rational. And so essentially what that means is we wanna show that if one of the three statements hold, then the other two also hold. But if one of them is false, then it must be the case that the other two are false. So starting off, the term rational is used quite a lot in this question. So let's start with defining what a rational number is. So you'll often see the rational numbers as denoted with a giant Q. And essentially what Q means is the set of rational numbers. So what makes a number rational? A number is rational if there exists P and Q, which are integers, such that Q is not equal to zero and the number can be written in the form P over Q. So essentially what that would mean is that, for example, the number one half, we would say that this is a rational number because if p is equal to one and q is equal to two, and we plug it in to the expression there, we would get one over two. However, numbers such as square root two and square root three don't have a definitive p or q such that p and q are both integers to write. So we would say square root two, square root three are irrational. So with that in mind, let's get started with this question. So as you've seen in lecture before already, in order to show that three statements are equivalent, rather than what we can do essentially is we can show that one implies two, two, so this would be referring to the statements above. So statement one implies statement two, statement two implies statement three, and statement three implies statement one. I'm gonna denote this with a one, two, and a three. So let's get started. With statement one, we wanna show that x is rational implies that x over two is rational. So by definition, we know that if x is rational, that means there exists p comma q, which are integers. So z would denote the set of integers such that q is not equal to zero. So then x is equal to p over q. Well, if we consider the term x over two, if we multiply both sides by one half, from there, we would be able to get that x over two is equal to p over two q. And so essentially, what we have just done is we have shown that x over two can be written as two integers. And we know that p is an integer from our premise above. And we know that q is an integer because it's multiplied by, or we know the denominator is an integer because it's the multiplication of two integers. As such, we have shown that P and 2Q are both integers. They're both integers. And we know that 2Q is not equal to zero holds. So P over 2Q is rational. So we know that it's a rational number. From there, we can take a look at two and three. So for number two, what we wanna do is we wanna show that X over two is rational implies that three X minus one is rational. And so if X over two is rational, that means there exists P comma Q, which are integers such that Q is not equal to zero. We'd say X over two is equal to P over Q. From there, if we consider three X minus one, well, we know three X minus one can be written as, or backing up a little bit, we know we can simplify this expression right here as X is equal to two P over Q. Then if we multiply both sides by three, we would get that three X is equal to six P over Q. And then subtracting one from both sides would give us 3x minus 1 is equal to 6p over q minus 1. And we can combine this term by substituting the 1 in as q over q. So we'd get 6p minus q over q. Similarly, similar, similarly as before, we know that this is an integer and this is an integer. And the denominator is not equal to 0. And so therefore, whenever we have an integer over an integer, we know that it's the case that it's a rational number. And so what we have just shown is that three X minus one is rational. 
Now for part three, what we want to do is we want to show that x over two is rash, or sorry, we want to show that three x minus one being rational implies that x is rational. And so if three x minus one is rational, we can write it in the form p over q. So we know there exists p and q, which are integers such that q is not equal to zero. So manipulating this expression, we'd get 3x is equal to p over q plus q over q. And the q over q came from adding one to both sides and then substituting. And from here, we can conclude that 3x is equal to p plus q over q, which tells us that x is equal to p plus q over 3q. And we know that this is a rational number because the addition of two integers will give us an integer in the numerator. And then three times Q will give us a non-zero term in the denominator. So X is rational. Similarly, above here, we would write that X over two, or we'd write three X minus one is rational. So essentially what we did for this question is in order to show that three statements were equivalent, we started by assuming that one of them was true and proving the second one, and then assuming the second is true and proving the third is true. And the, assuming the third and proving the first. And essentially what this will mean is that if any one of the statements are true, the other two will also be true. But if any one of the statements are false, the other two will also be false.